Hi everybody, so I am back and today I wanted to do my September favorites video and I know I'm like 11 days late for this video but I figured I still wanted to do it because ever since June I've said and I've promised that I'm going to do favorites video and actually I filmed um, my favorites video every single month but I've never came about to edit them because I was pretty much busy with other stuff in my life that was going on also with school so I figured for this month I really have to do it. I am also not gonna babble anymore because if I keep on babbling and babbling and babbling this video is gonna be like eight years long and I have to edit so so much. So anyway, here's my September favorites. So for my um, September favorites I'm gonna start with brushes and I've been flipping this around actually. I'm gonna start with this brush and it's my Etude House flat top brush and you've seen this in a million videos before. Um, it's the skunk brush and people use this for um, blush, for highlighter, for um, bronzer or for um, what else do they use this for? Um, for contouring or what it's mainly known for um, applying foundation. So when I first bought this brush, I used this mainly for foundation and then when I deep cleaned all my brushes, there was a period where I used it for blush. So now I deep cleaned all my brushes again, so now I rekindled my love with this brush for using it again with um, foundation. Half of the month of September I used this for foundation and the half of the other month of September I used this for blush. And I find that it works really really good for both um, purposes. So I really, really have been loving this brush, especially for foundation because um, I need only to put a little, little size, like half a pump of my um, Revlon Color Stay, no, not Color Stay, Photo Ready Foundation. And um, because this picks up, this kind of brush picks up very um, uh, little amount of product, um, but it blends out heavenly. It blends your cream foundations, liquid foundations out very, very nicely and um you know it doesn't even take like 10 minutes to apply foundation on your face i really have been loving this and then there's this brush by um, marionaud and it's an angled fluffy brush as you can see and it's really really dense so again the same as with my etude brush there was a period of time when i first bought this i used it for blush and then when i deep cleaned all my brushes i used this for blush and then i used this for foundation Again, I love this for both purposes. Now I use it again for blush and then this again for foundation. But um, I really, really have been loving this. I've been enjoying this a lot in the month of September for applying foundation. Especially on my um, under eye area because it just fits perfectly and um, it blends out very, very nicely. And since it's synthetic bristles, it's good for cream products as well. So I've been loving this a lot. And then there's this brush. This is just a cheap brush um, that I got um, from the SM department store. Um, they came in a brush set. Um, it's just a small one and I use this for um, contouring and also for applying my bronzer. What I do is I don't take it like this, like with the tip of the brush. I use it like flat. I put my like for example, I take my bronzer and I take it like this with the brush. It applies my um, bronzer, not blush, bronzer perfectly um, on the areas where I need my bronzer. And I really, really have been enjoying this brush as well. Oh, there's another brush that I want to show you, which is this one here by Marionaud as well. And this is a double end one. This is the angled brush and then the, here is a spoolie. Um, First, actually when I got this, I used this with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner, which is also good for gel eyeliners, but now I've been loving this a lot with um, filling in my brows, which leads me to my next favorite, which is the, the Ever Belana Quad in uh, Sea Corals, and I mainly use um, the darkest shade in there, which is sort of like a grayish uh, taupe brown. And I just take it with this brush and I fill in my eyebrows and it really makes applying um, or filling your eyebrows and shaping them the shape that you want very, very precise and very, very nicely with this brush. And this color is just really, really nice. It looks natural and um, yeah, I've been loving it for um, filling in my eyebrows. Moving on to cheek product, there is this plus. 
blush, which is called Cool Rum. I don't know if you can see that. Cool Rum, this is by Nishido. And basically, it's just like a tawny taupe brown color, like that. And um, I've been loving this mainly for contouring my cheekbones or sometimes as a substitute for bronzer because it's very, very light and it doesn't really look so dark. But um, I like this one. I just really want to define my face. So I've been really loving this. Then on the cheeks, I've been loving this one here a lot, which is by Caroline, and it's called Rosy Cheek. It's just a mauve pink color. I'm sorry. I just can't think straight right now. Um, I've been loving this a lot, and um, it just really gives a nice flush of color onto my cheeks without looking like overboard. Um, and again, I also use this brush for it. Like one side of it, I use it for my bronzer, and then the other side of it, I use it for my blush. Just take it like this, smile, and apply it on the apples of my cheeks. I'm just going to apply a little bit more so you can see like that. You will probably won't see that in the camera because my camera washes the color off. For the lips, just very, very quickly, not a big surprise actually. I've been loving the Revlon um, Soft Nude one, which you've seen in a million videos before too. Um, and also my other Revlon, the matte lipstick in Mauve It, Mauve, Mauve It Over. And I've been loving that a lot. And sometimes I use the Move It Over first, and then I layer it with the um, Soft Nude, and it looks just very, very nice. And then I've also been enjoying this one here, which is the um, Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Angel Rose. And it looks very, very bright and in intimidating at first, actually. But if you apply it um, with the right hand and um, sort of lightly and not just like slop it on like that, um, it really looks flattering and I just usually apply um, a clear gloss on top or again my soft nude um, because it just sort of tones down the, um, the brightness of a lipstick. So it, I really have been loving this a lot because it's sort of like a nice um, color to tone down brighter colors. I don't know, but I've been really loving that. And then for a lip gloss, I've been enjoying the um, Fashion 21 lip. This was just a freebie that I got for buying a palette. Um, but I've been loving this a lot. And it doesn't, when you put it on your lips, actually, it doesn't come off like this sort of bright um, pink color. It's actually very, very sheer. You can probably see that, but um, it has a little bit of a blue, um, bluish shimmer in it. So I've been loving that as well. And then... For eyes, again, I know I'm like going back and forth, forth with this, but um, I just randomly um, called my favorites up. But anyway, for eyes, for eyeliner, I've been using my Fashion 21 Liquid Eyeliner, which is waterproof. And I've been loving this um, eyeliner a lot. Like, can you see how small this brush is? But it is really, really nice for... Um, applying a very nice um, wing um, of course I had to adjust with it when I bought it but um, all in all it has been serving me well and literally I have that actually on my eye lids right now I have to say this is a great great eyeliner if you live in the Philippines and you want to get your hands on a good eyeliner this is the way to go um, this is only 120 something pesos if I'm not mistaken but um, this is awesome and literally I could like scratch my eye, I could smudge it like that and nothing's going to come off. I promise you, this is going to last you for the whole freaking day. It's not going to come off your lids unless you really take it off with makeup remover. So this is awesome, especially if you like going on a night out or whatever where um, you don't want to like reapply, reapply, reapply. This is an awesome eyeliner. Then I also wanted to mention just very, very quickly the brow definer that I've been using for the month of um, September as well. I've sort of been alternating these two. And this is by um, Avon. And it's just a retractable um, like pencil. And this is actually very nice. as sort of like a base. Like I sort of, um, sometimes I just draw first, like fill in first with this one here. And then I take my angled brush and then fill in my eyebrows with um, the eyeshadow that I showed you earlier. And um, it sort of acts like um, a 
sticky base for the eyeshadow not to disappear during the day so yeah that is that anyway that has been my September favorites I know it's not really a lot but um I just wanted to show you the things that I've been really really loving for the month of September and not just randomly grabbing things that aren't really my favorites but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to make more tutorials soon um, I have finals coming up so I'm gonna face my finals first before any um, tutorials because after my finals I will have vacation for like four days and then it's enrollment again so thank you guys for watching and thanks for subscribing and I'll talk to you guys later bye